That first day I walked in, I had been trying to imagine what it looked like and making Amazon little lists of what little decorations could go in it, tiny house things. And when I walked in, it was totally different than what I imagined. And it was really nice. Uh, walking through here was crazy because I was like, this is the place I'm going to live. <laughs> Most exciting part, probably a real bed, because for almost a year I'd slept on a lumpy sectional couch. So having a real bed has been really nice and being able to switch from sleeping on this side to this side or like sitting up in bed or just chilling or it's really nice. <laughs> it's weird to have ownership like that. I mean, I never in my life thought like I'd have a coffee machine or that I'd cook a meal in my kitchen or that I would put stickers and pictures on my fridge with magnets. We started the tiny home community in an effort to be a true response to youth homelessness in our community, also to be a model for organizations across our country. Really, our goal is to meet that basic need of safe and stable housing. Once young people have that, then they can work on all those other things like getting a job, finishing high school. We want to make it manageable because we want them to be saving all their money, other money to be able to go to their next transition. And our other goal is that when they leave the program successfully, that we will return a portion of what they have paid in rent for their next transition. Research shows that as little as 40% of young people aging out of the foster care system find themselves homeless within um, the first year of discharging from foster care. Um, and that's at the low end. Some statistics have it between 40 to 70%. <music> On our campus, we have five pantries where they can get household goods, food on a regular basis, clothing, um, just whatever those needs are. Um, we have educational advocates. We have job um, and employment training coordinator that will help them get employment, um, talk about budgeting, tons of life skills. We have a strong therapeutic care department that provides those mental health and substance abuse services. has changed my life getting this home. Um, without it, I probably would not have graduated high school. Um, I probably wouldn't even be thinking about college or the future, but now I like have plans that I want and tiny home has helped me with that so much because yeah, without it, I would not be here right now. <laughs> We build houses, then we build homes, and then we're building humanity. It's the humanity that we're building through the services and meeting those needs and being down there during crisis at 10 p.m. that is so essential for the long-term success of those young people. <laughs> <laughs>